Okay, so it's just gone 6.30 in the morning. Uh, it's a public holiday today, so the roads are pretty quiet. Uh, so heading out to Gyeongju. Uh, slept at about 3 last night, got up at about 6. So about 3 hours sleep. Um, Gyeongju, I think, is going to take about 2 hours maybe to get there. I think it's about 150 k's. I'm going to go a new way. I've been there a couple of times before, but today, going a new way. It's going to be shorter, I hope. Uh, unless, of course, I get lost. And uh, that's how we're getting there. So we're taking the new bike there, and uh, we'll see how it holds up on a longer run. So the longest I think I've done a day is about 180 k's. So this will definitely be the longest, uh, longest one day riding that I've done. Anyway, as you can see, roads are pretty quiet. There's not much traffic at all. Okay, so I've been traveling for about an hour. Uh, I thought I wasn't really getting anywhere. Um, I drove from Jinhae to Busan. Um, I've got to Busan, uh, Yangsan. I've just passed through Yangsan, but it's lots of traffic lights. The whole way it's traffic lights. Fortunately, it's a public holiday, so the, the roads aren't that busy, but just stopping and starting all the time is just frustrating. But it looks like the road's starting to clear up, so if we have a look, that's the road there. Now, as you see, there's not much traffic at all, and I've just passed this sign, and it says, Gyeongju, 54 k's. So I figure I'm halfway there, but uh, I felt like I was just getting nowhere. It's just going and going and going. So uh, anyway, it looks like we're starting to get there, so uh, I'll keep going. Okay, so I've made it to Gyeongju basically. Uh, it was 125 k's, took an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, the road I took was very direct, um, but very slow. There's lots of traffic lights, lots of crosswalks, which is really frustrating because as soon as you start to, get, start to get some speed up, you've got to slow down again. So that was a bit frustrating. Um, in the past, it took about two hours to get here, but we're traveling a lot faster. So definitely a faster route. Uh, I think going home though, uh, probably take the same route. Um, but yeah, anyway. Now that I'm in Gyeongju though, I'm a little bit lost, so I'm going to have to have a look at the uh, iPhone and check it out. Okay, so the reason I stopped riding is I knew I was pretty much in Gyeongju. Um, now, I know this river is where they ride the ATVs, which is where I was riding before. They don't actually ride them here, but they ride them further up, and I remember passing all these soccer pictures. So, that road up there that you can see, um, over there, that's the road I meant to take. So, uh, I need to go back over this bridge here, and uh, take a left, and then uh, follow down there. But pretty much I'm basically there. Uh, where I'm going is there's a lake and it's basically just over behind those mountains, I think. So uh, we'll see how we get there. Like I said, it's 8.30 in the morning, which is crazy considering it's a public holiday. Um, but yeah, feeling a bit crazy today, so why not? Take it easy. So this is the example of the traffic lights I was talking about. It's basically just a crosswalk um, and a red light. 8.30 in the morning, there's not a single person around. Um, so all you can do is basically stop like this car. Um, a lot of the time I just kind of slow down and go through them. Uh, but you know, when you're getting a, you know, you're cruising along at 100 k's an hour, 120, whatever you're cruising along at, you gotta slow right down for these traffic lights and then you can speed up again, so yeah. So I found these maps of uh, Gyeongju. Uh, I don't know if it's going to help you much because uh, it doesn't really show you all that much detail. But there's some um, temples around, um, that kind of stuff. Not that I'm really interested in that. Uh, but it is very touristy here, so you'll see uh, later on there'll be lots of ATVs running around and uh, bicycles and other bits and pieces. And over there, there's a big wheel. So I might go and have a look at that and take a little video of that. Okay, there's a bit of a waterfall there. Now, it looks very pretty. Obviously, it's artificial. A um, little bit of a damn. I'm getting pretty hungry, actually. Um, so there's some restaurants over there. I don't know if you can see them, but... There's some restaurants over the back there, so I might try and check those out. The one thing about Gyeongju, the worst thing about Gyeongju is the fact that there's no real restaurants around. You've got all these hotels around. Um, so there's Commodore. Uh, the, there's a Concorde over there, like through those trees there, there's a Concorde. They've got a Hilton and they've got a lot of the uh, other international hotels here. Um, but yeah, there's not much food around in terms of uh, restaurants. I know there's a Chinese restaurant over the other side of town, so I might check that out later. 
and uh, there's that big wheel I was talking about. Bit of a lake. So yeah, anyway, see if we can get something to eat. So this is uh, one of the many resorts in Gyeongju. Gyeongju is full of resorts. Like I said before, it's got the Hilton. Uh, the Concorde is over there, so Hotel Concorde. Now, I was here once before. They've actually got a big swimming pool and uh, swimming center downstairs in the basement. And uh, just over the other side of that building there, so just behind it is actually the lake. So I'll go and take a video of that in a minute. Um, but I remember this place because they've got great uh, waffles, I think. And I think they also had pancakes as well, banana pancakes. So I'm going to go inside and see if I can get some pancakes for breakfast or a waffle and uh, get a coffee. I remember also the coffee here is pretty good. I'll also take a video of the lake too. Okay, so where I'm at at the moment, uh, normally they uh, put some tables and chairs out here at night time sometimes. Uh, you can probably see the lake behind me. Uh, this is probably one of the best views of the lake that you're going to get. Um, it's a little bit higher than some of the other uh, view, uh, vantage points. So anyway, I'll uh, come up to the edge. So the lake goes right round over down, down around there. That's a uh, place down there where you see that little, looks like a little uh, pagoda or temple. It's actually uh, restaurants from what I remember. And you can uh, rent little bikes out over there and stuff like that. So it's pretty popular with the tourists. So uh, actually I'll be able to take a picture of the uh, water park for you as well. So that's the lake. Uh, you can see some of the other restaurants. Don't know what that one is there. And the water park. Looks pretty cool, huh? Uh, if I realized it's going to be empty, uh, I probably would have bought some swimmers and wouldn't have gone swimming, but I, I guess it's probably closed by now. Now, these are the condos here. You see some people up there. They actually uh, have kitchens inside, so most of the people bring their own food and uh, they, you know they'll be cooking breakfast up there and that kind of stuff. So they have kitchens and I think there are two bedrooms inside, so you get two bedrooms and a lounge room. So anyway, let's get some breakfast. The restaurant is just over there, I think. Inside, let me zoom in. My huge three times zoom. Anyway, that's the restaurant in there. Okay, something I've noticed is either my head is too big or uh, my arm's too short because uh, I can hardly fit my head in the screen when I'm uh, trying to vlog here. So anyway, uh, bike's all packed up. I've put my uh, jacket on the back there, it's pretty hot. Uh, what I thought I'll do is I'll head over there. Um, you can see over there there's a bit of a hot air balloon floating around up there. Now it is a hot air balloon but it's tethered so a uh, little kid falls off his bike. Where's daddy? There's daddy coming to run to save him as a kid smacks his head on the rock. Anyway, good job. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, hot air balloon, it's tethered. Uh, gives you a view of the whole city. I'm gonna head over that way anyway. Um, Gyeongju Tower is over there, and uh, I'll get an ATV for about an hour or so, so we can ride around an ATV. Oh, Daddy's here, everything's okay. Brush yourself off, kid, you'll be all right. No helmet? Anyway, good job.